Hello everybody. In this session, I will discuss the uh, quantum numbers associated with the vector atom model. So, there are seven quantum numbers associated with the vector atom model, uh, namely principal quantum number, orbital quantum number, spin quantum number, total angular momentum quantum number. In presence of magnetic field, the in order to explain the behavior of the uh, atoms, three more quantum numbers are introduced that is magnetic orbital quantum number, magnetic spin quantum number and magnetic total angular momentum quantum number. So, let us understand one by one in detail. Okay? The first I will discuss about the principal quantum number and it is denoted by the letter small n. The principal quantum number indicates the number of main orbits which are present in the atom. So, it can take the values uh, integral values that is 1, 2, 3, 4 excluding 0. The n is equal to 1 represents the first main orbit of the atom and it is denoted by letter k. n is equal to 2 the second orbit L and M etc. Okay. So, this is all about the principal quantum number. The next is the orbital quantum number it is denoted by the letter L. This quantum number represents the number of subshells which are present in each of these main shells. And the L value, L can take the values from 0 to N minus 1, where N is the principal quantum number. So, let us consider a few examples here. If N is equal to 1, that means in the first orbit, the L can take the value only one value, that is C. According to this relation, it can take value only 0 here. And 0 corresponds to the S subshell. Okay. In the second orbit, the L can take two values, that is 0 and 1. So, the second orbit is having a two subshells that is S subshell and P subshell. Okay, N is equal to 3 corresponds, the 3 is equal, the L can take the 3 values here 0, 1 and 2 and in third orbit we can have a 3 subshells that is S, P and D. So, in this way each main shell is consisting of the number of subshells and the values are given by for the L values 0 to N minus 1. And the angular momentum of the uh, orbital quantum number is given by LH cross, where H cross is H by 2 pi. According to wave mechanics, this can be written as under root L into L plus 1 H cross. The next one is the spin quantum number. Spin quantum number always takes only one value, that is R. Okay? And its magnetic momentum is given by the expression SH cross. And according to wave mechanics, it is under root S into S plus 1 into H cross. So, as we know that the electron will be having orbital motion as well as the spin motion, the total angular momentum of the atom can be given by the vector sum of the orbital quantum number and the spin quantum number that is known as the total angular momentum quantum number. It is denoted by the letter J and the equation for the J is given by L plus S. If S is parallel to L, then we can calculate the value of j as l plus s. If s is uh, anti parallel to l then the j can be uh, calculated using the relation l minus s with the restriction that j is always a positive value. Therefore, the final expression for the uh, j can be written as always l plus r minus s. Okay? So, here I have taken one of the example. Okay? So, the L is 2, when L is 2, J can, according to this relation, J can take two values that is pi by 2 or 3 by 2 here, that is just you do the calculation of 2 plus half will give you pi by 2, 2 minus half will give you 3 by 2. Diagrammatically, it can be written like this, now you see L and S are parallel to each other, the J vector can be given as pi by 2. If L and S are anti parallel to each other, that is, S is opposite to that of L, then the J is given by the value 2 here. So, the angular momentum I have mentioned here J H cross and J into root of J into J plus 1 H cross. Now, in presence of the magnetic field, the splitting of the spectral line can be understood with the help of three more quantum numbers that is magnetic orbital quantum number. It is designated by the letter M suffix L. Okay? So, it can be defined as the projection of the orbital quantum number in the magnetic field, field direction is known as magnetic orbital quantum number. The ML can take values from 
minus l to plus l including 0 and that is there are 2l plus 1 possible values will be there for ml for each value of l. Okay. So, if l is equal to 3, ml can take 7 values. Okay. If m, l is equal to 3, just put this 3 value, l is equal to 3 in this equation. 3 to the 6 plus 1, 7 values. Okay. So, ml can take so how many values? ML can take 7 values here. From minus L to plus L including 0 means minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2 and plus 3. Okay. The orientation of these vectors and each of these are treated as vectors here. The orientations are given in this diagram. Yes, I have said it is the value from minus 3 to plus 3 is there. The orientations are represented to this uh, figure here. Okay. So, one more example I have given here. If L is equal to 4, if I substitute 4 here, you can have the 9 values. All the 9 values I have listed here. Okay. The next one is magnetic spin quantum number. This is the projection of the spin quantum number in the direction of the magnetic field. And it is as usual, it can have only two possible values. One parallel to the magnetic field, the other one is anti-parallel to the magnetic field. Thus, the MS can have only two values that is plus half or a minus half. Uh, as usual, the combination of the magnetic orbital quantum number and magnetic spin quantum number will lead to the uh, magnetic total angular momentum quantum number mj. Okay? So, mj can take values from plus j to minus j excluding 0. Therefore, it can have for each value of j, it can have 2j plus 1 values. The one of the example I have listed here that is if j is 3 by 2 okay j is 3 by 2 mj can take just you substitute this value in this one 3 by 2 it will become 4 here 4 values that is plus 3 by 2 to minus 3 by 2 excluding 0 the orientations are represented in this figure so this is all about the quantum numbers associated with the vector atom model so these quantum numbers will completely give the uh, distribution of electrons in each of the orbit and also the energy levels of the uh, electrons. Energy levels means uh, how uh, uh, so S subshell have the some energy levels and the P will be slightly higher than the S energy levels. This about the energy information also these quantum numbers will provide us to understand the distribution of electrons in the atoms. So, okay.